welcome back to my channel if you're new here thank you for stopping by and checking it out so we're going to do a video reaction to god of thunder so let's hop into it and we'll discuss afterwards
the statement that in the previous uh, video I did of, of the, this concert that well I was correct actually I take that back Ace doing Shock Me is one of the highlights this is definitely another major highlight of their concert for that time I mean you got Gene doing his bass solo and he was gross with the blood <laughs> I know it wasn't real blood but still it's just gross especially when he opened his mouth and all that red and the tongue coming oh you think he was a vampire um then you had Peter Chris doing the drum solo I know compared to today's like what Tommy Lee I think with um Molly Crew done with his drum sets is what we just saw was tame compared to what he's done. But this is a different era of technology and everything was different. But still, that was very entertaining in my humble opinion. I, that song, God of Thunder, is a true Kiss classic song. I love that song very, very much. That and Love Gun and uh, Shock Me definitely kiss classics and here's an interesting thing I, I, I found this out very recently that Paul Stanley is the one that wrote that song I know right I was surprised too based on one of the words of the song and what it's about you would think Gene would have wrote it because Gene is the demon but no. Nope. It was Paul that did it. I know, for example, uh, Dr. Love. I don't know if I've done a reaction to that yet, or if there will be one. But I know Dr. Love, Gene wrote that. And he wrote that song at a Holiday Inn. The way he told the story, he was watching the Three Stooges on TV. And I think one of the characters was named was Dr. Love or something like that. And somehow, from a comedy skit, Gene came up with Dr. Love, the song. But back to this. I absolutely love this song. I did a do 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 And normally I don't like uh, their voices being manipulated doing live concerts, you know. But in this instant, it made sense. He was trying to give you that evil voice because he's, you know, the god of thunder and uh, he's not normal. So it fit the character for the song. And plus, we know Gene can sing. Uh, love it. Absolutely love that song. I'll never get tired of watching that. And I enjoyed Peter's drum solo. And another thing. Like I mentioned with the Ace Freely uh, on the Kiss Alive 2, they cut his soul short. They did the same thing with Peter as well. They cut his drum solo short as well. Whereas if you listen to the Kiss Alive, you heard the full length of Peter's drum solo. Again, it may have just been... Uh, 
time restraint. And I really wished, maybe they will do this, I don't know if they will, but I really wish they would come out with a Kiss Alive from that 70s Maybe like a live uh, of that tour, of this tour of Love Gun, or even the Dynasty tour, something where you had the first songs you heard on Alive, combine it with the songs from that came out the three. I think they made three albums after Alive, which were in Alive too. If they combine those two, I think it would be awesome. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you will come back to see some more. There's still a few more songs from this concert that I haven't gotten to yet. So um, until then, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Stay safe and take care of yourselves. Bye. Oh, and the Lord of the